So starting with a big reach up, inhale, and exhale. And let's plie. And big inhale. And big exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Let's reach outside. Really engaging all your muscles. As you reach side to side, feel your core muscles. And now we're gonna put a hand in a pocket and reach out. So we're gonna reach out. So you're pulling a handkerchief out of your pocket and let's bring it slightly behind and feeling your feet. Your feet are doing individual movements of the muscles, pointing and feel how you place your foot back on the floor. And now we're gonna do a little twist to the right. And notice that we all have the right pant leg rolled up. And that is to help you, the viewer, know which side we're on. If you are directionally challenged as I am. Okay, we're gonna come back to the center, reach up. And we're gonna pull down. And we're gonna push up. And then we're gonna open the chest. And we're gonna open the chest. And now we're gonna reach to the wall behind us. And I want you to take the palms flat. And we're really popping the chest forward. Like when a gymnast poses at the end of a set, how they go ah with their chest. Good, and relax and roll down. Engage your belly and stack your vertebra one on top of the other. Nicely done. And we're gonna do a really, really big undulation. So we're going to dive down. And when we dive down, we engage the muscles. We start with the chin and then we squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then we're gonna stretch up. So dive down. The squeezing and stretch up and whoo, dive down. Stretch up. And I'm looking like D. Schneider when I come up. I bet you, I parry, are you too young to remember D. Schneider? Can I get a D. Schneider? Right? <laughs> okay, good. And reach up. And down. And for the feet, we're going to point and flex and point and flex. And now foot, toe, toe, foot. Foot, toe, toe, foot. Foot, toe, toe, foot, and switch. Point, flex, point, flex, foot, toe, toe, foot, foot, toe, toe, foot, two more, foot, toe, toe, foot, and circle. And the other way, and switch, circle, other way. And now we're gonna step out and we're gonna take a big reach down. So you dropped a finger symbol and we're gonna pull it up and say, ceiling, take my finger symbol. I drop my finger symbol, I'm gonna reach up and say, boing. So down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. One more on each side. Down, up, down, up. And now bring it in. And we're going to stretch the neck a little bit. So first, look in the mirror and see the level of your shoulders. All right, so just check in with that. We're gonna roll the shoulders back. Big, juicy shoulder rolls. Good. And roll to the front. One thing I've noticed 
about posture is that when you get out of bed in the morning, you tend to be kind of curled up. Do you know how when you get out of bed, you're like, you're stiff and kind of like, Bleh. and if you haven't um, shaken out your cobwebs at some point in the morning, you're gonna stay like that all day. It'll get a little bit better, but you're gonna be like this all, more, all day. So it's really important, first thing in the morning, that you shake out your cobwebs and do some gentle stretches and then stand up straight because when you're getting out of bed and you're like this, then you get to eat breakfast and you're like this and then you drive your car to work or if you're on a bike like this, you're like this, unless you're on a nice stand-up bike, which I prefer, but anyway, you're like this and then you get to work and you're like this, right? And then you go to belly dance class and you're like this. So first thing in the morning, stand up straight. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch out the neck. The muscles in the front of the neck hold the shoulders up. So we wanna get rid of the tension. So we're just going to take the ear to the shoulder. And now we're gonna just breathe. And now I want you to inhale. And when you exhale, drop this shoulder. When you're stretching your neck, you have to be really gentle. And a lot of people shy away from stretching their necks because they think they might hurt themselves and they do themselves a terrible disservice because then you have horrible neck and shoulder tension and you don't look very good. The other side, the ear to shoulder. And on the exhale, we drop that shoulder more. Good. And when we come out of the stretch, we roll forward. And then check out your shoulders in the mirror. They should look lower than they did when you first started. Good, so we're gonna do that again. Ear to shoulder. And now this time, we're going to put our finger on our chin and we're gonna lift the chin half an inch. So make sure you're keeping your lines nice and clean, you're not doing any kind of weird torquing. And then just half an inch down. And half an inch up in the direction your chin is pointing. And I'm gonna go a tiny bit more carefully. Do you feel a big stretch in the front of the neck? Don't nod vigorously here, yeah? Good, and then we're just gonna say a little yes, and we're being very gentle. And you never throw the neck back. It's always a gentle lift and very soft, come out of it. And look in the mirror and now check out your shoulders. So the one that you just stretched, we just stretched the right, should be lower than the left. So if we can get a look at everybody's shoulders, yeah. So now we wanna get this shoulder that way too. And what it shows you is just how much tension we all carry in the neck and you actually need to Stretch the neck out every day gently and carefully because when you sleep at night or you, you know, have crummy posture because you're not being really careful, your neck will just tighten right back up. Little nod. Very gentle. And... I'm gonna chew a little bit. Chew some gum. And you can feel it kind of getting up into your jaw if you have a lot of tension there. And just be very careful that you're never throwing your head back. You're always being gentle. And then your shoulders should be level. And the more you do this, the longer your neck will get. Let's do another important stretch for getting rid of shoulder tension. We're gonna do this one on the floor. I'm gonna show you first on one side. <clears throat> so we're going to keep the shoulders kind of stacked up. You just don't wanna go over so that you're rolling on your um, mic pack if you are wearing a mic pack all the time. I am right now, so that's a good reminder. And then we're just gonna take the arm out to the side, keeping it level with the shoulder. Slightly bend the elbow and we're gonna very slowly go from the top of the head back to shoulder level. And I'm gonna let my students do this and I'll come around and try to give you 
a correction because there's a common mistake everybody makes. So go ahead and lay down and you're gonna roll onto your side and get your head comfortably situated and then take the arm up. So notice that you have your upper leg bent and your lower leg straight and then we're just gonna take the arm out to the side, soften the elbow and you take it as far as you can take it comfortably. Know your body and never force it because that's a quick way to end up on the sidelines. And then we just go over the head and open. And where you're gonna feel the stretch is here in the pectoral. So from the center of the sternum to the tips of the shoulders, in order to get good posture, we need to open and lengthen that, and this will help with that. Good, and then come around to the other side. And laying on your side, get your head comfortably situated. Reach the arm up, put your palm to the ceiling. And then we're going to slightly bend the elbow, take the arm out, and we're going to go from the side to the top of the head. And you might want to use a cushion here for your head if you have one to get your neck aligned. And then when you find a tight spot, or if you, you know, if every spot is tight, but you find one that's tighter than the other, you want to kind of stay there. For me, it's usually around here. And this is where we're trying to open because we don't want the shoulders curling in on the chest. And um, that's part of what happens. People usually have tight necks and tight chests, and your back is actually loose and weak. And a lot of times people, when they're thinking about their posture, they're thinking, oh, I need to stretch my back out. But actually, you need to strengthen the back and stretch the chest and neck. All righty, and then carefully come out of that, just slowly and carefully. And we're going to grab a chair so we can do some work on our legs. Let's stretch out our legs. So we're gonna hold on to the back of the chair or a wall or a bar, and we're just going to press back on the heel and pushing the hips forward, stretching out the back of the leg, the calf. Pull your tummy in so you don't do a sway back. There we go, good. And switch. And pushing forward. And let's come around to the front of your chair so that you can put your leg on it. And we're going to put the left foot up on the chair itself. <laughs> I have my imaginary chair. So we're here. And then we're going to rock slightly forward, lift the heel, rock slightly forward again, and then press the heel down. So you're going to be stretching the psoas, the hip flexor, the muscles that move your pelvis. Make sure that you're not twisting. You gotta square the hips up. So if you've taken too big of a step and you can't square your hips, shrink it back a bit. And let's switch legs. And remember, you're gonna lift the heel up, then press forward, then press the heel down. And that way you're really gonna feel through the hip flexors and nice long posture all the way from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Lower your shoulders. Remember how relaxed they felt after the stretch. So keep that relaxation. And we're going to come back to neutral posture with both feet on the floor. We're going to take the left leg up with the heel on the chair. And now we're going to slightly bend the standing leg, square the hips, and Christina, you've been a little too much. Yeah, square the hips, reach up. We're going to pull down and push up 
and we're going to do the big circle where we open our palms to the back, and then we're going to bring our hands to the ankles. Good, and make sure that your hips are square, and I want you to arch your back a little bit. Make sure you're not tucking your hips. Now you're tucking. Now arch, and we've got a twist here. We've got to untwist, untwist. So if you've come too far down and you can't straighten up, then you need to adjust that. You twisted, here we go. And then come up again, and standing here, we're gonna tuck and arch, tuck and arch. And you feel how when you arch, you feel more of a stretch, right? Okay, and then again, we're gonna come up, and we're gonna arch, not to the point of wanting to fall over backwards, but just enough to get the stretch in the hamstring. And pull, pull down, really feel the muscles here. And push up, you got a really heavy weight or your annoying dance teacher pushing against your hands, either one will do whatever you wanna think of. And then we're gonna open the arms to the wall behind us and stop here for a second and go, this is so good. This stretch is opening up the chest. And then we're gonna round forward. Actually, don't round, try to stay straight. And then just gently touch wherever you can, keeping the back very long. Don't twist. Straighten up, straighten up. And switch legs. Very good. Bring the leg up. And arms overhead, pull and press, and open, and come forward without rounding your back, gently touching the legs, keeping the back straight, trying to think about the tummy going onto the upper thighs. Don't press hard, square your hips, and come up, and pull. Make sure the hips are square and press. And circle back and we're gonna say, ah, drop your shoulders. And let's see how far down we can go keeping the back straight. And let the hands hold on where they can. Don't put your hands on your kneecap. Put your hands under your leg. Don't do anything that's gonna cause aggravation. There you go. Good, and coming up. And one more, let's face the mirror. Let's reach up. Reach all the way up, and we're going to go side to side. Let's go sideways and open and press the hands together. Hold your hands. Big stretch. Don't twist, don't do this. This is wrong. Shine your armpits onto the mirror and come up and over. And let's just open and whoo. And then clasp the hands. Don't twist. So that bottom armpit needs to face the mirror. That's the one that twists. And come up. All righty. Before we break down the sequence, there's two movements that I want to explain. The first one is just a corkscrew. So the corkscrew is in my um, turns and arabesques video. So let's just review it quickly. We step front, center, back, and center. So let's just do that. Front, center, back, center. And now we're going to do hip circles on top of that. So when I step front, I'm going to be taking my hip out to the left and pushing it forward and then pulling back so that my hips are moving towards the mirror. 
And now I'm going to step with my right foot to the back of the room, and I'm going to push my hips into the right wall, and then I'm going to pull to the wall in the back and step. And we know this is the right side because the leg is up. Right, left, right, left. And if you think about pushing the hips and pulling the hips, that's always going to get you to have a circle. The next movement is very similar, except that it is the upper body. So we're going to be making big circles in the chest. And this I'm calling the upper body corkscrew. So as opposed to the one we just did, where we're pushing and pulling the hips, this one we're lifting and lowering the chest. So I'm going to lift my chest and lower my chest and lift my chest and lower. And with this one, it looks a little weird when you're going slow, but we're going to place the hands touching the back of your hip scarf, and it will nicely mirror the movement in the chest. So we're going to go right, left. And when I go left, I gently drop my chest. Right, I'm lifting my chest. And left, dropping my chest. OK, so this sequence, we're going to start posing with our knees soft, left knee soft, right knee bent, arms are up. We're going to drop front, drop side, swoop, drop, kick. Place your hands slightly together, and we're doing a plie. And we're going to bounce back and straighten the right leg. And we're not going to go Burr! We're just going to go and when we get back here, shoulder shimmy. Then we're going to step left, right, and then figure eight right, left, corkscrew, pull. So when I get back to my left foot, I pull the right foot. Now I'm going to go right, left, right, left, right, left. And this is more in the upper body. Right, big swoop to the front, roll up head. That's how I want it. And again, up, drop, drop, swoop, drop, kick, little jump, la la la, shoulders, walk, walk, figure eight, corkscrew, slide, one, two, three, one, and with the chest a little bit, it's just bigger all around. Roll it up. Good. Now with music. Walk, walk, figure eight, court through and slide. Triple step, step. Bring it around, swoop, roll up. Good. And again. So we're going to go front centered back with a little jump, right, left, right. And when we go on the right foot, we roll up, we sweep, and we lift, lift, sway, sway. There's a little jump in the front center back, right, left, little jump, right, left, little jump. So you want to have buoyancy in the ankles. And we're just going to do this with the hands. And then I just get confused. <laughs> just a little swimmy motion with the hands so that it doesn't look too stiff. Front, center, back. Right, 
This is the corkscrew. Left, right. Roll up, sweep, up, up, right, left. Let's do that with music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweep, hit, hit, sway. We're going to do that again. Here we go. Front, back, corkscrew, roll up, sweep, hit, hit, and sway. Okay, so we're going to go around with vertical lifts. One, two, three, four. You keep your thighs tight, your thighs tight. And twist front, twist back. Now we're going to go which way, ladies? That way. This way. We're going to go butt to mirror or thinking about going to the arm that's up. Butt to mirror, butt to back. Twist, twist, popo to back, popo to mirror and twist or turn. Turn, turn, and hit, da-da-da-da, twist. Hit into the corner, shimmy, twist. And when you hit, your hands go into your pockets back here. Hit, and when you shimmy, you bring them up, and on the twist, you turn the hands. Let's do that with music. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Twist, twist. To mirror, to back. Twist, twist. To back, to mirror. Turn and hit. Good. That's it. Okay, so this combination has a slightly challenging element. So we're gonna walk through it really slow. We start with a three-quarter shimmy broken into little pieces. We're gonna go, put your hands behind your hair, back on the right and hit, back. Now we're gonna go up, down on the left, and we're going to do an omi as we come around. And then we hit to the front and face front so the left is ready to go. We're going to go right, left, left. And now I'm going to take my hands to my hips to show what I'm going to do. I'm going to imagine that I have a bowl right here of spaghetti. So this is my spaghetti bowl. And as I go pigeon-toed, all the spaghetti falls on the floor. Blech, spaghetti, oh, it's a mess, I have to clean it up. And then as I bring my weight around so that I'm standing fully on my left, I go, oh, I cleaned up all my spaghetti. And now it's back in the bowl, yay, spaghetti. And then I hit to the front and place here. So back, up, down, and it helps to put your hands on your hips. Spaghetti, blah. And then spaghetti, yay, it's back in. Hit and place. And if you are still having trouble with this, join the club, because it's hard. Back, up, down. Notice how when your left hip went down, your right hip went out. And that's going to help you to do the omi. Um, we're going to place the left foot. It's so awkward. Thank goodness it's fast. And but your foot does have to do this in order for all the pivoting to work. So I have to set it up again. Tuck. 
and again, back, up, down, hip out, and when the hip goes out, that gives you the opportunity to drop the spaghetti. And then when you step back on your left foot, you really want to pull your tummy. The more that you can use your tummy muscles in this, the easier the movement's going to be. Let's do it one more time without music and with the hands. Out, up, down, spaghetti out. And now when you get here, take this hip and pull the muscles in. Okay, so here and pull. And along with moving your feet, that's gonna help it feel much smoother. Let's go again. Out, up, down. Spaghetti falls, and then the right hip is how you start to pick up the spaghetti. Hit right, get ready on the front. And we'll do it with music and with the arms up. Out, up, down. Spaghetti, bowl, hit, front pose. We'll do it again. And again. Out, up, down. Spaghetti, bowl, hit, front pose. We'll do it again. Okay, so here we are. We just did our out, up, down, spaghetti, bowl, hit, face front, drop, kick, plie, shimmy. Cross right over left, little Maya, look left. Left over right, little Maya, look right. And go right, left, right, left, reach. So my weight's on my right, and everybody can tell because we rolled up our pant leg. Turn, and notice how there's a little sweep in there. And drop, kick, plie, releve, step and Maya, step and Maya. I'm going up, Leliana's going down. That's fine. <laughs> Reach, two, three, four. Reach, turn. And next section. So let's do this. Oh, before we go with music, I want to show you with the Maya, you're on your toes. And if you can do a Maya standing on one leg, balancing a baby on one shoulder and a seal with a ball on its nose and a you know, unicyclist, then you're great. You'll always have a job. So if you can do this standing on one leg, you could hold a bar. That's going to give you the best idea. Let's see if I can do it on my bad leg. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's going to give you the best idea of how it feels because you're going to want to go like that. You're going to want to put your weight into it because that's how we usually do a Maya. But it's going to take you off of the choreography. OK, so very good. Let's do it with music. One more time. What, what's the arm doing after the spaghetti? Like around? It, yeah, so you go reach, turn around with the left arm. Okay. That's fast. That's a good question. And music.
Okay, so we've just gone reach and turn. If you need an arm breakdown, right arm. Right arm comes in, left arm swoops around, and as the right foot crosses the left, the left arm steals the right arm's position. And then we're going to cross and step out. When we step out, we go woo with the head in a gentle, soft way like Christina did instead of me. And out and woo. We're going to go corkscrew. Right foot, left foot, right foot. We're facing the right wall, you know, because you got my little bracelet. We set up here, it's all very fast, and we do a hip U. And the U breakdown's in my put the belly back and belly dance, but it's really actually pretty simple. Your hip just comes over your right foot, and it makes half of a circle so that your weight goes on your front left toes, and then you go all the way back, and now the weight is on your back foot heel. When you go back, when you're done, you sweep the foot, and we're going to step around so that my weight goes left, right. I'm going to do a hip circle and step out on the left. So my weight goes right, left, sit. My weight is right. Twist the shoulder forward, undulation halfway up with the body, twist to the other direction, undulation all the way up with the body. This repeats. Cross, hip and head, cross, hip and head, right, left, right, front, back with a sweep. Step back on the left, step on the right, step left, the hips go front. You sit, the weight ends up on more to the right, and you go undulation, Undulation. When I say the weight goes more to the right, what I mean is you're sticking the hip out more to the right. So it's not just that your hips are center and you're like this, it's that you're pushing into the right side. So we come up and up. When we're done, we're going to prepare to do a walking undulation. And it's going to go around in a circle, curving slightly to the front so that you don't end up all the way in the back of the stage. Let's do that with music, starting with the reach. Cross, out, out, corkscrew, you turn around, hip circle, twist, and twist. Undulations. So we're going to do an undulation. We go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, down and up. We're going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, down, and turn. <clears throat> Let's do this one again from the top. I'm going to demonstrate it with you guys watch intently, and, uh, and I'll demo it, and then we'll break it down together, OK? Six, seven, eight, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, 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 left, right. Let's do this broken down together. We're going to be making a semicircle, and when we end the undulations, we're facing the wall behind us. We're going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And we're going to look over the right shoulder and go back on the left. The right leg goes back. You put the left foot down because that's the foot you pivot on. And then we're going to go with undulation with three steps. One, two, three. I'll add the arms next. One, two, three. That was left, right, left. Right, left, right. This can be a little tricky, but it's actually a fairly simple movement. We're going to take the left foot behind the right, and we're going to do a little bend, and we're going to turn almost all the way around. Now the left foot is free for the same movement. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then we're going to go back on the right foot, looking at the left shoulder, because that's how we go back, and then left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right foot goes down, and we turn all the way around. Do it with the arms, just the triple step. So here's just the feet, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're just gonna sweep this arm back. It's like you have a ponytail and you're flipping it over your forehead. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. With the undulation. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Left. Left, right, 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 left. Turn all the way around. Again, with no music. Right, left, 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 right, down and up. Left, right, 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 left, all the way around. When you spring back, Make sure that you're pointing your foot and that you're controlling your movement. Let's do it with music. Seven, eight. Right, left, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, down and up. So we're going to do a shimmy section here. We're going to be facing the right side, and we're going to shimmy up one, two, three, four is a reverse undulation, five, six, seven, eight, we go down. We transition to face the center, one, two, three, and on four, we do something I call the Lebanese wiggle, because I've seen Lebanese dancers do this really fast reverse Maya, and we take the arms with us kind of mirroring, mirroring the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can add an undulation there if you want. And then we're going to take the arm like in a uh, circle from nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock. 
on a clock. The Maya, and the same concept that when we did the, Maya, the walking Maya, where we could do this standing on one leg. So don't press into that side. Maya, hips, chest eight from left to right. We're going to sweep back. So follow your left hand and then face front with that. Let's do that again. The left hand and left foot are now facing front. Leliana, make sure you turn around a little more. And then we're going to go down and up. And then we're going to do a three-quarter shimmy. Left, up, down on the right. Right, up, down on the left. We're going to go right, left, right, left, sit. And then come up, crossing the right leg over the left. And that's how we turn around. And now we're going to go in a circle with the left hip. In, front, side, back. Breaking that down again. Shimmy, roll up, three, four. Shimmy, five, six, roll down, seven, eight. Shimmy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross, Maya, chest, sweep. Roll down, roll up, out, up, down, out, up, down, 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 sit, turn. One, two, three, four, and that's it for that section. One important point, it's really crucial that you have flow in the arms. Whatever you're doing in your arms, they need to flow. Don't just go like this. This really leaves something to be desired. So make sure the arms have some movement in them. They can be out to the side. They can be behind the head. If you're doing it in a group, you want to coordinate it. But either way is fine. I'm going like this just for okay. giggles. OK, with music. And again. Here we go. Shimmy and roll up. Shimmy and roll down. Bring the arm, let the knees wiggle. Roll down. Cross Maya chest, turn. Roll down, roll up. Out, up, down, out, up, down. Right, left, right, left, sit around. Left, two, three, four. Good job. OK, so here we go. We're going to do our hips in the circle. One arm is behind the head, the left arm is straight in front, and we're going to go front, or we're going to go down where your hip is, and then front, out, back. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put your weight on your left foot, face the back wall, and now release the right foot and lift the right hip, looking at the mirror. Place the right foot on the ground, Look to the back wall briefly. Release the left foot and hip. Place the left foot on the floor. Drop the right hip around in a circle four times. One, two, three, four. So you're pivoting on the left foot. Step with your right foot. And as you look back, swing your hair and swing. And then we're going to be coming around. And as soon as you do, 
place your right hand on your hip, on the right hip, okay? And that's gonna set you up. Let's do it again with no music. And one, two, three, four. Step and look, step and look. One, two, three, four. Step and look, step and look around. And with music. One, two, three, four. Step and hip, step and hip. Down, 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 down. And again. Very good. So we started facing back because you just looked over your shoulder and looked over your shoulder. Your right hand is on your hip. We're going to pivot on the right foot and bring the left around. We cross, open, back. Cross, open, back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, that gets faster. Plant your right foot down. You're going to step left, right, left, and then lift the inside hip. And this we do with a barrel turn. So we go left, right, left, right hip, right, left, right, left hip, and then step left, because you're gonna push the right through on the next one. Again with no music, facing back, the right hand is on the right hip, around, cross, open, back, cross, open, back, front, center, back, center, arm overhead, arms on the hips, plant, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, the right's gonna go forward. And let me just break down the arm on the cross open back. So you start with your left arm out, cross the left arm and left foot. As you step on the right foot, your palm comes up. And as you step back and do a sweep with the hip, the palm goes down. Palm down, palm up, palm down and up. Palm down. Palm up, palm down and up. Palm down, palm up, palm down and up. And the feet alone, left, right, left, and the right sweeps down and back. Right, left, right, sweep down and back. Good. And now with music. So we start facing back. Around. Cross, front, back, turn, and plant. Around, hip, around, hip. Get ready on the right. And again, we'll try to go a little faster. Around, there we go. Front, back. Bring the right forward. Good.
So here we are. We did our barrel, left, right, left, hip, right, left, right, hip. We place the weight on the left. Press the right through into the wall in front of you, and then swing around to face the back. We're going to go left, left, and right. Bring the head right, left, right. Stand up facing the left wall. And we go down and down with an undulation. We face the right wall, down, down. As we come up, we swing the right hip to the mirror. Little arabesque on the left. Step with the left. Reach out with the right. We're going to take the right arm down, the left arm up, and we place the left arm out and the right arm on the head, shimmy with a circle. Let's do that again. So we had done, we're placed, and left, right, left, inside hip, right, left. Right, inside hip. Press the right. Left, left, right, right, left, right. Undulations to the right. Undulations to the left. As I come up, I swing the right hip to the mirror. Arabesque with the left foot. Cross with the left foot. Reach, right arm, right leg. Right arm, right leg crosses front. My right arm comes to the top of my head. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Nice, good. With music. Plant. <laughs> Undulation, turn. Undulation, turn, arabesque, cross and reach, barrel turn, circle. When we do this again, we're going to just pause the music for a second. When we do this again, we're going to start with assuming that we're here, and we're just going to push the right hip into the mirror, just because for timing it works better that way with this cut that I have. Barrel and lift, barrel and lift, push, up, 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 head, 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 undulation, undulation, circle, arabesque, step and reach, barrel, shimmy, right, left, good, okay, nicely done. Before we get into this combination, let's just refresh the technique for the jewel. So we'll do it just facing front first. So take a basic figure eight, right and left, right and left. And now when we step forward, we're going to drop the hip slightly. And the weight is all on my right foot as I pull the hip back. And then I pull my hip on the left in and front. And that gets me to one, two, three, four. Notice how I wait for my one until I'm ready to step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've just come out of doing the circle here with the shimmy. And now we're going to place our hands under our hair, 
right and left and right and left and right and left and step back on the right. Let's do that again. So you're starting with your left foot up. You're going to do a jewel walking into this corner, the back wall, the side, the other side of the room, that would be the left side, and then you face front at the end. So here we go, we've done our circle. Right, left. I'm facing the back of the room. I'm facing the right corner, and let's look in the mirror, and roll down, roll up, da 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 da, shoulder shimmy. I'm going to flip my hands, and I'm going to step my right foot forward, and drop, two, three, shimmy. Cross, open, back, shimmy. Right foot, right hip, circle, from 6 p.m. to 12. 6 to 12. And do I do that two or three times? Two. And roll up, roll down, hit, turn. And we turn right left so we're ready to start with the right hip again. And starting from the circle, right left, right, left, right, left, step back on the right, roll down, roll up, shoulders, drop, two, three, shimmy, cross, out, back, shimmy, circle, circle, up, down, hit, right, left, right. Let's do that with music. Right, left, right, left, right. Get ready to step back on the right. Shoulder, two, three, shimmy, cross, open, back, shimmy, circle, circle, up, down, hit, turn. And again, right, left, right, left, right, left. Shoulders, cross, open, back. Cross, open, back. Circle, circle. Roll up, roll down, hit, turn. Ready on the right. Good job. Screw with that has more chest. Right, left, right, left. Undulation, walking, starting right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Cross, open, back, hip. Cross, open, back, hip. Right, left, right. Left, arm overhead, arms on the hips, plant. One barrel, right over left. Choo-choo, you can do whatever shape you want. And then two barrels, wait for the accent. One, two, go back. Da -da 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 you have four counts, step, kick, around, pose. And you're done. And let's do it again with music. 
right, left, 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 right, right, left, right, left, turn, two turns, one barrel, choo choo.
So you've done your introductory veil movements that fit your stage or nightclub or restaurant or nursing home or children's birthday party. Make sure that you end facing the left wall, looking left, and when you hear the chime, turn your head and smile. And turn one, two, three. You end up on the right foot at the end of that turn. Cross your left foot and left arm. Right foot comes forward as the right arm comes forward, and the right arm goes under the left arm. You change the sail. So your left arm is straight, your right arm is out. You bring your right arm in and under. Without the veil, I go like this. In and under. That prepares my right hand, whoops, to go on my right hip, and I turn twice. If you let your left arm shrink down on this turn, it never ends up looking very nice. So the key is you have to really, really, really stretch. If it looks funny when you try, you're just not stretching enough. Turn twice. The weight comes to the right leg. Arc. And notice how I Transition my weight to my left. It's buoyant. Bring my veil behind. And as I prepare to walk back, I brought my veil forward. Flip the veil over the neck. Walk front. Drop one side. In order to drop one side, your palm was up. You bring your arm forward until your palm is down. Turn, and now my right palm is down, my left palm is up. Now it's right palm up, left palm down, and reverse. And that's how you juggle. Make sure to practice that because it can be tricky. When you end that movement, the left side is front. You can turn once or twice, depending on what you prefer. Walk to the back. The veil is going to come behind you. Walk forward. Bring your hands together, palms in and out and in and out and in and out. And let's see what that looks like just in the hands. Palms in and out and in and out and in and out. You can do that as many times as you want. Maybe you just want to do a big one like that. Maybe you want to go faster. But the key is that the hands come forward and then the palms go away. Palms together, palms away as you go down to the ground. Come up. One arm comes down to barrel you around. Up, arm down. And then we are going to start our skipping sequence. Palms go forward when you skip. And when you turn, put your veil under your elbows so that the shape of the veil is very precise. So we go. Right, left, 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 right, left. One more round before we start going back, and then we're going to go back. You can walk out of it. If you don't have the space to complete that in a turn, you can just walk out of it and then prepare for the remainder of the choreography.